What can you even make with 3D printing is a question that us hobbyists often get asked. The answer to that question would be anything of course, but many people might not know that you can also 3D print artwork, more specifically, colored lithophanes using CMYK filament. This process produces amazing graphic prints that come to life when backlit, and they make pretty nice room dressing. Stay tuned as we dive into making our own colored lithophane print using the Bamboo Lab A1 and AMS Lite, plus their PLA CMYK lithophane bundle. Hey, this is Rohan here. Thanks for tuning in to Creatorific. I've broken down this video to demonstrate how you can convert your images into colored lithophane STL files, the slicer settings that you should use, and lastly, printing an assembly of the lithophane bundle, which leaves us with a nice framed backlit image. I've included links for any of the resources mentioned in the video description as well, so that you guys can check them out for yourselves if you're interested. But without further ado, let's dive in. So I have the lithophane bundle as well as a 0.2 millimeter hot end assembled on my desk here to start off. And we can find this bundle over at the Bamboo Lab store, but taking a look at the preview images, we could get a glimpse of what's included. So we see that we have some CMYK, or it's technically CMYW filament, as well as the backlight board. The dimensions here are handy as well for sizing your artwork to the 3D printed frame should you use one. Colored lithophane 3D printing can be achieved with any basic PLA filament as long as CMYK. So you don't need to use Bamboo Lab's brand of filament or their bundle, but it is a good value because it includes the backlight. eSun's another good option though, and the Bamboo Lab printers do have a print profile for that brand as well. Link also in the description. Unpacking the backlight board and flipping it over shows the USB-C connection, but it doesn't come with the cable, so you'll have to supply your own. I'd like to take a moment to quickly highlight our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay.com offers custom 3D printing services using a wide range of materials. They also offer custom PCB design and assembly, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services, all at reasonable pricing and low quantities. Right now, they're having their seventh project design contest where you can enter submissions within the electronic project, mechanical project, and STM32 project categories. This contest goes into the project review phase on January 20th, and the results will be announced on March 10th. So get your entries in soon if you're interested, because there's plenty of awesome cash, coupon, and hardware prizes to be claimed. So before I even print the lithophane, I'm going to first print the frame and the light guide plate, which acts as a diffuser. Files for these can be found on the Bamboo Lab website, and you can download the specific file for your type of printer. Here, I'm installing a 0.2 millimeter nozzle in preparation for the lithophane printing. For the accessories like the frame and the light guide plate, those are printed using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. If you're enjoying this content, by the way, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel, as well as turn on the notification bell. I appreciate each and everyone's support and it helps to continue to produce content for this channel. Okay, so now we're ready to create our color lithophane files and I'm using artwork that I found on Pinterest as my favorite anime right now, Delicious in Dungeon. So using the lithophane maker link, we'll set our parameters. Since we printed a frame, we wanna make sure that we check the box for crop. We also wanna make sure that we set the layer height to 0.15 millimeters. 
set your shortest dimension to 108 millimeters and your longest dimension to 144 millimeters. You can shift your image up or down, left or right within the bounding box if you need to better frame it as well. To create your STL files and to view your expected image, you just need to provide an email address and that's it. Whenever you're ready, just click the Create STL button and your files will begin to download. You should end up with five different STL files in the text file. So with Bamboo Studio open, just drag and drop those five STL files and click the Yes button to load as a single object. Now, there's a few parameters we need to set in Bamboo Studio, but the first thing we need to do is go over to the Device tab. If we've changed our nozzle, click on the Printer Parts button and set the appropriate nozzle that we have installed. Otherwise, the machine won't print. You'll just get an error message from the software. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is select our nozzle and plate type within the Prepare tab. Something I forgot to mention earlier when I was loading the CMYK filament is that the Bamboo Lab brand of filament is automatically detected in the AMS and preset for you using the RFID code that's embedded. So I didn't need to do anything here to set my filament, but if you're using a brand other than Bamboo Lab, then you will have to set your filament parameters manually, but no biggie. You'll want to set your initial layer height to 0.15 millimeters, then click over to the strength tab to set some parameters there as well. We'll scroll down to our top shell layer, then set that to 3. Set the top shell thickness to 0. Set the bottom shell thickness to 3, and the sparse infill pattern as rectilinear. We'll also set the sparse infill density as 100%. I don't think that it's mentioned anywhere, but I'd absolutely print using a brim. I had a couple of prints lift off the build plate a bit, and it's better to save yourself the trouble. Lastly, we want to click over to the Objects tab to assign the specific filament colors to the corresponding file names. Once we're done, we can send it to print. So there you have it. Thanks for sticking around and I hope you found this video entertaining. If you like this content, please check out my other 3D printing videos. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you could be informed when new videos are released. Links can be found in the video description for any of the resources mentioned and any affiliate links used helps us support this channel and no extra cost to you of course. Thanks and until next time, see you then.